Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you a really simple image gallery. Uh, it's called an image sequence. You don't have a lot of options in terms of the control of the image gallery, but it's a very quick and easy way to make a very simple kind of gallery. But like I say, it's very limited with options. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and draw out a rectangle. So I'm just going to draw out a frame, a rectangle frame on the page. Um, and then I'm just going to go to the window menu, go to Folio Overlays, and then look for the image sequence when it comes up. So there's image sequence. Now all you need to do is make sure that you have a folder which has all of your images that you want to use in this sort of gallery in that folder, and only those images. So I've already got that set, so I'm just going to say I want to find the folder that contains my images. So I'm just going to go here to Documents, uh, let's go and find out where it is. So it should be under here, Use Test Site. Universal Studios images and on the right I've got a folder here called image sequence so I put all the images that I want to appear in this slideshow inside this folder I can now select that so let's just make that a little bit smaller so you can see it so I'm going to click open so I'm just selecting the folder I'm not the images inside but just the folder that contains the images okay now they come in really really big so I'm just going to do command and shift uh, because that will resize the image window as well as the image that's in there. Oops, let's just do a command and Z to undo that. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got the uh, selection here and just bring that back on the page. Command and Shift and resize. And then I can come up here, Command and Shift and resize it as well. Just looking up here, if I want to do this nice and quickly, let's go up here and let's actually change these so that I can actually see it. So let's go for 500. By 500 and that saves me having to mess around with all of that command and shift there we go then I just need to do a right mouse click and uh, let's select it again so let's select the frame right mouse click and then go to fitting and fill frame proportionally so it actually gets my image in there so I might just do a command and shift and just resize that just to make it a little bit smaller there we go so that's my image sequence now over here you've got the images loaded that's the size they're going to appear at and we've got them fitting to the frame uh, I'm going to show the first image initially. So with that tick on, it's going to pick up the first image that's in my folder and show that as a placeholder image. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get to autoplay. Now the issue is, is that you can only set it to one frame per second. That's the slowest speed it can go. What that means is it will show every, it will show an image every second, which is actually quite quick. Um, that's why you don't have much control over this image gallery. Uh, when it was originally set, the default was 16 frames per second, so that means it will show 16 images in one second, so it's just like a blur. So here, I really just want to have uh, one frame per second, and I'm going to get to loop, so it just goes round and round. We could have the user swipe to change the image, and that's pretty much all the settings you can have. One further thing I might do is I might just click on here and just go to the FX and add a bit of drop shadow. So I'm just going to add some drop shadow and we'll just uh, decrease the distance a little bit on that and click OK, just so it looks like it's lifted up off the page. Let's uh, preview that in the um, Folio Preview, so the Adobe Content Viewer should launch and you'll see how this image sequence works. So really quick, as long as you've got your images organised into a folder, it's really quick to set this image gallery up. Problem is, you have very little control over it, in other words the images go through every second look. So that's quite quick isn't it? But there you go, if you wanted that kind of effect on your pages, then that's one way that you could do it using the image sequence.